one of the strengths of the training course was actually the good mix of theoretical background, you know, theoretical grounding, plus the actual practical aspects of it, the exposure, you know, the actual lobbying, meeting people, setting up meetings. I learned about the, the UN system, the human rights system, uh, and, and how it works, and, and um, what particular offices I can approach on my issues, what mechanisms exist uh, that I can, uh, that we as an organization can use to advance our, uh, our issues uh, internationally. By being introduced to all the special mechanisms, uh, the special procedures, and having the contact details of the different mandate holders and the team that work with them, um, it has just widened the options for advocacy at this level. The strength is that this course happening in Geneva because you will be close to the United Nations mechanism. You can go there and speaking with the people and asking some questions, what you heard about UPR, UN mechanism, special procedure and all of that. I didn't even, for example, know that I, the, 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 the times when the, um, the president of the Human Rights Council actually talks to NGOs. And for me, that was really an eye-opener that I, I, I can actually sit in a small room with the president of the Human Rights Council and, 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 and talk to him or her and articulate my concerns. We learned a lot of skills, how to handle meetings with diplomats and how to achieve your objectives with the the use of different tools uh, such as uh, press uh, releases and other techniques that are really uh, required. The staff of ICHR help us to communicate with some states of some of the international organizations. We build relations because ICHR also have relations with some organizations. We don't have a human rights mechanism right now at the regional level in Asia. But if we are exposed to international level ad advocacy and we learn more about the UN systems, um, it would be very useful for us on how we could also integrate that into our sort of a regional advocacy. Many of the organizations I work with are grassroots organizations uh, dealing with very challenging situations and very challenging issues. So the skills I have learned here, the thematic issues that I have been exposed to during the training has equipped me with uh, 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 more options for doing advocacy. A major strength of this course was the fact that the MENA region and the sexual orientation and gender identity thematic issues were kind of put together. In many such fora where we have to en uh, engage on advocacy or advocacy objectives, um, there isn't a cross-mixing of thematic issues in quite the same way. I thank uh, the International Service for Human Rights for giving me this opportunity uh, because really uh, I learned from inside uh, the United Nations, uh, I learned how best to use different tools within the United Nations.